Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Lost and Damned. And on today's part, we're going to be um, focusing on Brian and confronting Brian. And I'm going to show you guys all the outcomes regarding Brian as well. So here we go. Let's get this started. End of chapter. Hey, here comes the big man. Gentlemen. Hey, 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 Johnny. My hey. hey, what's your plan? We spoke to that fat fuck Brian. He wants to sit down and call a truce. Brian <laughs> wants a truce? Yeah. Fuck that. Let's go get him. That's what I thought you'd all say. Right, let's do it. So the majority of the lost guys are loyal to, um, uh, to Johnny. So now I wish I could play some of the rock music for you guys in this game, because this game has, the Lost and Damned added a lot of really good rock music, like a lot of heavy metal and rock biker, biker themed Maybe music. You should do the talking, man. I don't know if I can trust But the myself. copyright music mafia hey, is ridiculous. Last thing I want is to talk to that sniveling little shit bag. You and me, Clayton. Just like old time. These are tough times. How's Jackie feel about what's going down? He just doesn't want to see the kid grow up without a father. None of us do, James. Don't worry about that. This is where he said he'd be. Let's go see stupid Brian now. Let's see what happens. Here comes Tweedledum and Tweedle fucking dumb. Fuck you. Billy was always good to you and you ratted him out. Billy's a one-way SOB and you don't Billy was always good to you. No, uh -uh. Yeah, you think Billy'd stick his neck out for you? You're dumber than I thought. I knew you'd say that. Just knew you'd say that. You're so predictable. Wow. Johnny Little Dickowitz. What a baby. And your babysitter Billy's on the inside now, so it's bedtime for you, motherfucker. That's your call, get the boy. fuck out of town. That's your call, you boy. You're the one taking a nap. Put these assholes in the ground, brothers. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy wiping out Brian's guys right now. You can tell Brian's guys are pretty stupid too, like driving around in circles like that with no cover. No wonder they all got wiped out. So now this has basically turned into a Lost MC Civil War. Interesting, because I thought he was actually an ass kissing double cross shit. I should have exploded on impact. Okay. These are all lost members who are apparently loyal to Brian and Billy. My back's against the law! Pull your weight, Jack. Cover. Clubhouse ain't exactly gonna be crowded after this. So Brian's faction is trying to make a run for it now. And there's actually a lot of symbolism here. 
this place where Brian actually betrays you, this is actually right near the same place where Dimitri betrays you if you do the deal ending. So it's two places where characters betray you. Okay, let's go meet Jim. like we're about all that's left of the Alderney chapter, man. We don't need numbers, man. We need brothers. Exactly. And that's what we got left. You, me, Angus, Terry, Clay, brothers. You're right about that. Shit. I wish we pinned down Brian, that little weasel. He'll turn up soon enough. Yeah, maybe. See you soon, brother. Now you guys notice there's actually two different Lost um, MC um, Mission Complete um, songs. There's, you know, the little bit of a rock song, and then there's kind of the guitar one. The guitar one is kind of more of a sad one. When things aren't going your way, the guitar one plays. The rock one kind of plays, like, um, uh, when um, uh, when something goes good. So, you know, it's, it's not good that there's a, a, a civil war in the Lost MC. And the thing about this is that um, Johnny, you know, this shows why he's actually a good leader. Because, um... He says we need brothers, not numbers. So it's much better to have a few guys that are good guys and loyal to you than having like a, a bunch of guys, especially who are unstable and untrustworthy. Bad standing. This is one of my favorite Gentlemen, missions. I love Johnny, this mission. You remember Ray, right? Yeah, how you doing? How am I doing? I got the feds all over me. I got a boss who's a paranoid wreck, and I got a guy above me in the food chain with a brain like an overcooked artichoke. joke. <laughs> Things are great. Yeah? Sounds like shit to me, but whatever. So, uh, why are you here? I heard you boys is having a little internal dispute. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? From Ashley. You friends with Ashley? Everybody's friends with Ashley, tough guy. <laughs> uh, you know, she's a good kid and all. A little messed up, but, you know, she needed a friend. Ray told us where Brian is. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Where? And how the hell does he know? All right, 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 right. Don't go breaking my balls, all right? I talked to Brian a half an hour ago. And listen, I understand where you guys are coming from. And on one hand, I don't give a shit. A bunch of grease monkeys want to have an all-out gangbang be my guest. You're all adults. Sort of. <laughs> but right now, I need calm. Billy's on the inside. I need a steady flow of merchandise. So it's in my interest to see that you boys calm things down. End this little squabble and get back to work. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later, yeah, Ray. Yeah, bye, buddy. So what do you think, Johnny? I think that guy makes my skin crawl. But now that you mention it, so does Brian. Right now, he's our problem. God damn it. Brian was my brother. Yeah, he was, but so were a lot of people. I don't feel like that shit means too much anymore. So? So I'm gonna go pay Brian a visit. See just what that fat fucker's problem is. See you all later. Go to Brian's safe house. Let's get over there. And now here's the thing about this mission, guys. This mission has three different endings. Not a lot of GTA uh, missions have that, but this mission has three different endings. And I'll show you guys the um, uh, I'll show you guys the um, uh, all three endings and the outcomes and what happens. So this is Brian's safe house, and Ray, um, you know, Ray, the, uh, he technically did sell Brian out. So, you know, you know, technically, I guess Ray did betray someone, but Brian kind of deserved it, though. Brian is protected in his safe house. That's I, I wouldn't want to be in prison or anything, but I, you know, I, I take it. Fucking Johnny the Rat. Man, I hate Brian so much. Okay, now let me show you guys. There's three ways to actually do this mission. 
So let's um let's call up uh Terry and Clay for backup. They'll actually comment on this. Johnny, Clay, I'm in Brian's place. You guys want to come here and help me with him? Right on, brother. Me and Terry can go around the back and wait for him. If you send a grenade in the window, that's your smoke him right out to us. Sounds good. So Terry and Clay can show up, and they're actually gonna. So they comment on specific missions. So you, Johnny told them, "I'm here, Brian. Safe house. Come help me out. You're chapter president hey, now. You can call go them in." Back, smoke out, Brian. Make sure the right people died today, boys. So Terry and Clay, now they can cover the rear of the house. They're gonna cover the back door. And now what you can do, Brian's safe house right here, take a pipe bomb, throw it through the window. Let's see if we can get this right. Got it in. There we go. Starts a fire. Brian is trying to escape out the back entrance. And that's it. That's one way to actually get rid of Brian. Let's go. Isn't that really cool that you can just throw a pipe bomb through the window and like Terry and Clay will go to the back of the house? Man, that's what I love about this this DLC. You can use Terry and Clay on so many missions. So that right there, um, will upgrade Terry and Clay, but that's that's only one way to, um, uh, to, uh, complete it. Jonathan, where's Brian? Halfway to hell, my brother. We don't need to worry about that little fucker pulling nothing. Good to know. I'll stop looking over my shoulder. Well, until Billy gets out of prison, at least. Stay in touch. And Terry and Clay, they will get upgraded on each mission, which is just really cool. So make sure you bring them along. If you ever play this DLC, bring them along, because it'll upgrade them. So let me show you guys the other ways, because um, there's actually two other endings to this mission. Let me show you guys the other endings. So now uh, I'll show you guys the other endings. Call up. Let's call Terry this time for backup. And if you call them before you get to the place, the conversation's Johnny, a little different. Man. No one likes to take down a brother, Terry, but this has to be done. You want to pay Brian a visit with me? Hell, man, I don't want to, but I'm with you on this. Okay, so Terry and Clay are gonna back us up now. Here they are. Let me show you guys the other endings now. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in prison or anything, but I, you know, I, I take it. Fuck it, Johnny the Rat. We're gonna go inside this time. I'm gonna wait for our brother around back with Clay. Send him out to us, will ya? Why don't you put a grenade through that window, man? Stay strong, brothers! Fuck! Oh, Brian! Brian's fine, Terry! Where are you, little girl? Okay, it's gonna be it for Brian now. Wait here, Chief. I'm heading up. Brian! Brian! Yeah! Come out in the open! Red color rips to scare you apart, asshole! Let's get this over with! We were your brothers, Brian! And this guy's in good cover here. Let me turn off the um, music. I love the heavy metal in this uh, mission, but I'm just scared about the um, scared about the um, copyright. You swore an oath, Johnny. Don't do this to your brother, man. I get out of town. Lost MC forever, my brother. Don't do it. I'll leave the city. I promise you, man. So you guys notice how the the please. I'll be good. I'll leave and I'll never come back. The arrow on uh, his head, it's blue and red. Ghost, man. Gone. 
You know what that means? That means that you can spare the character if you choose to. So let's do the execution. If you pull out a pistol, it's a unique execution. You swore I'm sorry, please! Come on! For once, do not be a bitch! You've got to take it like a man! Fuck you, Brian! Okay, so that's, that's, um, that's basically right there the second way to actually deal with Brian. Jonathan, where's Brian? Halfway to hell, my brother. We don't need to worry about that little fucker pulling nothing. Good to know. I'll stop looking over my sh well until- Now let me show you guys the third and final way to, um, uh, to deal with this. The last ending. It's, it's pretty similar to this one, but a little different. Anti-Semitic cocksucker! Boom. What? Oh. So this right here, guys, You're mine, you this is the final, um, this is the final, um, uh, ending, the other ending. And this is the one, this is the ending that I chose the very first Where time that I played you, this mission. Girl? Billy, put me up to it, please. I'll, I'll disappear. And the, what is the final ending? Please Basically just to spare him. So that's the final way that you can end the mission. Don't kill Brian, just walk away. And Brian will actually just uh, walk out here who run out now. I couldn't do it to a brother. Even him. He's dead inside anyway. And so this right here, this um uh this kind of shows I guess that Johnny was the better person. And you know, I Brian was a piece of crap, but you know, I gave him a chance to live and to Johnny? leave town. James, I couldn't do it, man. He's getting out of town. It's hard to kill a man when he isn't behaving like one. I know what you mean. Let's just hope he's not planning anything else. Later on, man. So, is that it for Brian's story? Is he out of the story for good if you spare him? Not exactly. He still comes back. Let me show you guys, so it's still not over yet. So another thing, um, after that mission, you actually unlock Brian's safe house. You get this text message from Jim, you should sleep in Brian's old apartment. He won't be turning up there again. Sure beats the old bed at the clubhouse. So, you know, Johnny didn't really live anywhere, you know. Um, he's not exactly homeless, but, you know, he, um, he lived at the clubhouse. And so you can store a vehicle just by saving in here. This is Johnny's safe house. Yep, that's it. This is Johnny's safe house. I guess it kind of fits the, you know, I guess maybe a you know, hardcore biker. Uh, safe house because you know biker safe house um old abandoned house you know kind of um uh makes sense but like a house like this especially a house like this in new jersey you know this house is you know really old you know this is like you know you know 50 60 70 years old this is a very old house um but you know you have these typical you know three-story you know houses so you know this is johnny's safe house and yes you know johnny has the you know ugliest safe house out of all of the um uh the protagonist nico has the best safe house um the two best safe houses in algonquin Luis's um safe house is kind of cool um johnny you know kind of ugly but at the same time is even though johnny's safe house is kind of ugly i do kind of like it because it's kind of different um you know it, it is a rundown you know bandit house you know a biker gang would kind of you know hold up so now take a look at this guys if you actually spared brian and you wait um 24 um uh, hours in game, then Brian will actually appear as a random character on the streets here. Only if you spare him, obviously. Um, but you know this is one thing I really liked about the Lost and Damned is the Lost and Damned actually and um, what they changed from GTA 4 is they actually did it where um uh you know the uh the random strangers they would actually appear on the um on the map, which is good because GTA 4 you had to find all of them and that could have been a little frustrating. But you notice notice how it says friend, you know, not really friend. Um, but here, this is Brian. This is what happens if you spare him. Hey, yo! Johnny! Johnny K! Hey, I thought I told you to stay out of town. I did. I live. I was a ghost. Seriously, Johnny. You were a ghost for like five minutes, man. I told you to go permanently. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. We were all under a lot of pressure. And listen, I, I made some bad decisions. But seriously, Johnny, you're the man. <laughs> Ugh. You were my brother, Brian, but you fuck shit up. Oh, come on, man. That ain't fair. That ain't fair. Really? Uh, but all the people that were killed, and all the shit that we've been through, and the fact that you and Billy are rats, that was fair? Just part of the game? 
Fuck you, Brian. Exactly. Man, it wasn't like that. Seriously. Billy, he fucked up. But me, I was being a good soldier, following my leader. Yeah, killing your friends. Everything got out of control. Seriously, you're my family. Get the fuck out of my sight. No, no, no you gotta come with me. I gotta show you something. Billy, he controlled me. I'm so ashamed. I gotta come clean. Come with me, please. Now, fuck you, Brian. I can help you save the club, man. Seriously. Then I'll leave town. Okay. But if you're fucking with me, I'm gonna put a bullet right through your fucking skull, Brian. Johnny can be pretty intimidating at times. And the thing is, even though Johnny was very intimidating to Brian, I agree with everything he said. I think most people um, agree. And now, if you guys never have seen this before, I bet a lot of you guys are watching this and like, I didn't even know about this mission. So yeah, if you spare Brian, this is what happens. And this is, you know, GTA 4 had all this detail here. And, um, did I do the right thing by sparing him? You guys are about to find out. Now, um, watch hey, Brian carefully. Hey, uh, you never guess what I bumped into. Johnny Clemens. <laughs> We're coming to you. I've been waiting to see you for a long time, Johnny. Ever since, ever since you paid me that little visit. That's nice, dude. I'm real touched. Yeah, nice one, Johnny K. So now he just called somebody and he says we're coming on over to you. Does that feel doesn't that feel kind of suspicious if something feels off, right? We're gonna call um uh Terry and Clay right now for backup. You can call them if you, you feel uh something's wrong. What are you doing? Dude, Clay, can you and Terry get over to me? I'd like you here. Okay, man. We'll be with you soon. I hope I don't regret not killing you, Brian. Exactly. So Terry and Clay are going to catch up to us. It's going to take them a little bit of time to catch up. They're just a few blocks away, but they're going to catch up. You're still a sniveling little shit, man. Lost MC! Lost MC! You best be legit, Brian. Exactly. Here's where Brian wanted to lead us. Yep. He led us into a trap. This is the last of his faction. You're a dick. We're gonna get rid of Brian once and for all now. So, yep, we made you the uh, fucking shit. we made Fuck the right you, decision Brian. um originally by killing him. Brian, you motherfucking little piece of shit, die! He's not gonna get away this time. Oh, shit. That's the last insult, motherfucker. Brian. Got Terry and Clay to back us up here too now. We gotta catch up to him a little bit. I think we got him. So that's it. That's what happens if you spare Brian. He leads you in an, into an ambush like the piece of crap that he is. And I personally think it's canon that um, Johnny spared Brian because Brian dies either way. But I think that that's what happened. I think that uh, Johnny spared him. And the reason that I feel that way is because Johnny has a hard time killing um, lost MC members, and especially Brian. Despite Brian being so nasty to him, the fact that Brian was begging, 
I think that Johnny spared him in that in that um uh, case. I think that's what happened. You know, I don't think he just executed him, and then he ended up killing him in this random encounter. But you know, that's pretty much it for Brian. You know, all the insults, constantly mocking Johnny, constantly being a piece of crap, being a suck up to Billy, starting a civil war in the Lost MC. And the fact that Johnny had a, n a nice enough heart to just spare the guy and give him a chance to get out of town. Instead of actually getting out of town, he tries to double-cross Johnny once again. And there's actually a hint that Brian could actually betray you. Brian's first name is Brian. His last name is Jeremy. What are the initials for Brian Jeremy, if you think about it? you know, That right there, you know, that's a sign. He's gonna betray you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this, um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part. And I'll have another part up for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.